Hey, what's up guys? Finally gonna get back around to doing a little bit of um, hyper hot glue strength testing, uh, specifically on crown molding outside corners. This is a tip that I came across that has been huge to me in boosting efficiency. Makes for extremely strong outside corners that you can pre-assemble. Uh, saves you a lot of time and headache especially whenever you get into situations where you're really fighting a ceiling or something like that. So, I've got five different outside corners that I already previously glued up. There's no nails or fasteners of any kind on these outside corners. What we do is first use the hyper glue gun. We're gonna glue the corner. And then after that set, which takes about 15 to 30 seconds, use that same hot glue and glue a couple of uh, 3 8 or half inch dowels on the back side of that outside corner. Leave that set up and then what you can do is whenever you're installing, if that outside corner is off a little bit, say it's not a true 45 degrees, this corner is so strong that it'll actually allow you to flex the crown molding. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm actually flexing this crown molding quite a bit. Now you can imagine if you were trying to put the corner together on the ceiling, how bad that would throw off the joint. But because of the strength of that glue, you can, you can flex it. So you can see right there, that's a little bit of uh, how strong that, that actually is. It actually just broke apart the finger joint on that one. So the actual glue joint is still completely intact. Let's try and whack it on the ground a couple times and see what it takes to break the loose. So you can see this is coming apart in pieces. So now that I broke that, you'll notice how this dowel that was glued onto the back side kept that wood intact there and here on this piece. Gave it a ton of extra strength. See that is not, not breaking off, that's how strong that is. finally broke off. You can see right here that glue kept the wood with it. Before I break the rest of these apart, this is what it looks like on the back side. This is three and a quarter crown, four and a quarter, and then five and a quarter. You're just gluing those dowels on the back side and it, uh, it works really good. Let's bust them apart now. So now generally from a workflow perspective, what I do whenever I'm running crown and I run into these situations where I want to pre-assemble an outside corner, I'll go ahead and adjust my workflow so that I can pre-assemble these pieces and then leave them sit for a little bit. The longer that you actually leave them sit, the stronger of a joint you have. It's pretty strong after the first 15 minutes but as time goes on, that glue continues to react with the moisture in the air and it gets stronger and stronger. So these are at full cure because uh, they've been sitting for a while. I haven't been able to get around to doing this, but uh, so this is as strong as it gets pretty much. Let's see what it takes to bust these apart now. This is five and a quarter crown. You can watch, I'm gonna try and keep it still and flex. Again, very strong also. You'll notice where the dowel is, the wood broke in front of the dowel off the other piece. Same thing on this side. The dowel is down here, all that wood broke off. So the real, uh, the real key to the strength in this joint isn't necessarily the glue on the end grain itself because there's really not that much surface area. The key is getting that dowel on the back side. 
Here's some three and a quarter. This is gonna break a lot easier, but you can still probably see it's still probably gonna flex quite a bit before it breaks. You can see that flex happening there. So you can imagine if you had a corner that was not a true 45, um, or you're dealing with some joint compound that was built out and it wasn't feathered in very well, you'd still be able to nail your crown off without the joint opening up. Same thing again, where the dowel is on the back, it broke off the wood from the back side of this piece on the, on the front side of that dowel. So another piece of four and a quarter. There we go again. See all that wood on the back side of those dowels. This one, it's the last one. Let me try and just see the amount of weight that I'm putting on this thing. And it's still perfectly intact. Again, had a finger joint near that uh, near that corner so that, that's what actually broke off. See the dowel on the back side wood here again. It's not breaking off. So this is a great uh, great technique if you want to really make your life easy when you're running crown. Um, I use the, the 30 second. You don't want to use the 60 or the 90. It's actually got a thicker viscosity. So the 30 second actually allows the joint to go together better. Um, I just put the joints together by hand and that works pretty good. And I always keep a supply of those dowels in my uh, my consumables kit on site. So I'll have links in the notes below for the glue, uh, the gun, and the dowels that I use. And I uh, hope this helps you guys out.